Back inside the Grand Theater, Mashantucket, Connecticut, Foxwoods Resort Casino. We are now set for the heavyweight title bout between Blagoy Ivanov and Derek Maimon. There you see the numbers. Blagoy Ivanov 28 to Maimon's 30, 6'1 to 6'3. And there you see the weights, 252 and 237. Two inch reach advantage for the caveman, Derek Maimon. And Emily Miller and a little bit of traffic there cage side as we get set for this bout five rounds scheduled for the heavyweight title Blagoy even off taking on the caveman Derek Maiman who has been in some big scraps before and you so ready? for a big fight like this we got to bring in the big guns Hi. Chael Sutton not enough hard to believe we bring in David Branch the greediest man in the World Series of fighting not one <laughs> but two belts does this man hold <laughs> David good to have you with us give me a quick assessment of how you see this thing You're playing out game. first of all with Maiman what does he need to do to take the belt Okay, Maven needs to get his jab pumping right now and just get the feeling. You don't really pay for, uh, you don't really get hurt, or, or, or uh, there's not really much consequence that will happen from using your jab. I fought Maven before in the past, and he's grown a tremendous amount. So that's what he's going to have to do. He's going to have to keep this fight on the feet and get those heavy hands going. And for Ivanov, what do you see for him to retain his title? Ivanov needs to keep the pressure going forward and then look to take this fight down to the ground. Looks like he's got him right there. Ivanov taking the words of David Branch, and he is absolutely unloading wow. on Derek Maimon. Maimon's in trouble. This is a flurry, but gentlemen, let me remind you, this is scheduled for five five-minute rounds should it go that far. That is not the kind of output you want to put forward. There's an expression in the world of boxing, if you go for the finish, you will not win the decision. Remember, Samanino Rama came at Maimon early on to get the title, and that's exactly what he did. He came in as a flurry rock Maimon early. Now Maimon trying to withstand what Blagoy Ivanov brings in those heavy hands, David. And for a big man, Blagoy Ivanov at 252 pounds, he's probably walking around in the case tonight closer to 265. Man can move quickly. Oh, yeah. He's real quick. Maimon just went to the body there. Pretty good strike. I'm very impressed with the recovery of Maimon. He just took yeah. another hard shot, but his legs aren't wobbling. He is standing his ground. The big man from Bulgaria continues to come forward and tee off on Derek Maimon. Guys, our own president, Ray Seppo, sparred yep. with Lagoy just recently. That was stand-up kickboxing style. Ray Seppo came with said, you know, he's really getting a lot better. He's getting to the target. He's in pretty good shape. He's a durable guy. We're really seeing that now. When Lagoy became famous, he had defeated Fedor Emelianenko in a Sambo competition, yep. which not a lot of people know what Sambo is. It's not highly practiced here in America, but it's a form of grappling with a lot of submissions, emphasis on leg locks. And, and Maimon in trouble again. It was a world competition. And the bad news for Derek Maimon, he's still got a half a round to go. And as Chael Sonnen pointed out, four more rounds after that if he can survive this first round. And right now, Ivanov looking like he wants to end this thing early and go home. Maimon definitely being durable here. He's got a great position for a wrestler, but it doesn't look like he quite knows how to finish it. Blagoy gets into the open again and is more than happy to make this a boxing contest. I really thought Blagoy would clinch him up and try to get a takedown. Oof. At least look for it. He hasn't yet. Maimon came forward that time and met the right stri straight right of Blagoy Evanoff. And David Branch, not that you've ever been in this situation before, but Derek Maimon under two minutes to go here in round number one. He's already bloody as Ivanov has just tattooed him multiple times. Is he in survival mode? And what would you be telling him if you were in his corner? I'm telling I would tell him the weather is going to keep those hands up and get the body movement going. He's got to keep his feet moving so that he's not a stationary target. Ivanov is coming. David Branch taking a break from his two titles. That's tough, Chael, carrying around not one, but two of those big heavy gold belts. Yeah, it hurt his arm. I heard he had to go in and get a surgery on his arm because of it. Heavy bling. 80 seconds to go for Derek Maimon. His corner's just telling him, withstand this flurry by Ivanov, and hopefully he can possibly punch himself out. But boy, Chael, the way he's firing off that combination right left, it does not look like he's going to lose any steam. Maimon comes forward once again. Yeah, Maimon, uh, Maimon's tough as old, old salami, this guy. I mean, he's standing in there. He's been punched. He's been kicked. He's been knee, but his legs look good. He's bouncing. He's charging forward. He's doing his level best, and I have noticed he is just a tad bit faster than Blagoy. I, I don't know about this. Now, that's a dangerous game. 
As an opponent in jail, when you see someone do that, don't you always want to knock their block off? You want to hit them right <laughs> down the middle. <laughs> now, maybe it was a little tactical with that show, but he took a step back, so yeah. that there was some distance there. Blagoy Ivanov pointing up to the jumbo screen here in the Grand Theater. Both guys now. Come on, fellas. 20 but, seconds to go. Blagoy is not fast or athletic enough to play this game. This is, this is a quick man's game here with the hands down. This is a Roy Jones move, a Floyd Mayweather move. This is not a 252 pound heavyweight technique here. Maimon will survive and go to round two and we'll have it for you when we return to Connecticut live on NBCSN. No, he's not. Okay, you're fine. Put him on face on. Back up. Sometimes a punch is not a punch. As we go back to some of the highlights in round number one, Derek Maiman stunned early from Lugoy Ivanov. And fellas, it wasn't the combination. It wasn't the left, wasn't the right. Take a look at the left side. It was the forehead. That was the forehead. That was absolutely accidental. Ivanov was bending down, but he did get him. Now, on the break, gentlemen, I got a text message from Joe Rogan, who's watching, and he corrected me. He said, listen, when Fedor and Ivanov grappled in Sambo, he said they wear headgear and they do strike, uh, and that that's a little bit different than regular Sambo, and that's why it is impressive. So it was much more to a fighting competition, and thank you for that correction, Joe Rogan. That was back in 2008, the Sambo Worlds. So we'll see what Derek Maiman can now do with Blagoy Ivanov. Guys, clearly David Branch, Chael Sonnen, Sidney K. Time me. You've got to give that first round to the champion, Blagoy Ivanov. Definitely. Yeah, but I think you got to give a little consideration to that headbutt. He wobbled Maiman, and that's largely what we were impressed with. But, but then again, I think I'm overthinking that for our judges a little bit. But I am impressed that Maiman is still here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he was rocked multiple times. David Branch, you have fought Derek Mamie before. You said he's grown, and I asked you, in girth and size or in mentality and experience? Everything, and skill and experience. He looks like he's trying to drag this fight out, which is a smart thing. Take it into deep waters. And just a further discussion is Joey Warner, who is a very intelligent young man. He's it's called Combat Sambo, which is MMA on a wrestling mat. So we are getting our education tonight, World Series of Fighting in the heavyweight division plus Combat Sambo. Yeah, that's right. That's right, and I was unaware that they were wearing headgear striking there again. But, but, look, but look at Maiman. He comes out short of this, but look at him. He's the one moving his feet. He's the one circling and still got some pep in his step. Time to go to the body. That, that, that's very unusual for, for a heavyweight fighter. Maiman really is moving around this ring quite well. Maiman continues to move, and Ivanov continues to strike. It looks like Derek Maiman's looking for one of those big haymakers, David Branch, to come over the top and hopefully catch the chin of Ivanov. Definitely. He needs to keep doing that, and he needs to work behind his jab. That's the most important thing. Throw all the strikes, the knees, the kicks, everything goes behind that. This one's scheduled for five in the heavyweight division. Blagoy Ivanov is your champion, reigning champion. Derek Maiman looking to knock him off, and this is just... Halfway point of round two for five scheduled rounds. Early on in round one, Chael, I didn't think this thing would go into the second round because of the way Ivanov was teed off on me. It was an incredible flurry, and he did everything right. He started with punches, he finished with keys, he'd start with punches, he finished with kicks. I would like to say this, Blagoy has not been doing a great job of counter-striking tonight. When Maiman goes first, he tends to have success. When he throws something, he tends to land it on his target. But Blagoy is the one leading this dance. Right. I think Maiman really needs to continue that pressure and make sure that he's first, or like the champ, Mr. Branch said, lead everything with that jab. Maiman is the more active fighter if you continue to watch his footwork and the way he's moving around the cage, but it does not seem to be David that he's scoring many points. He's jabbing, he's pawing, he's getting that in there, but, but when they come together, he's not getting off some big power punches. That's They're finding their spot. 
That's correct. Blagoy needs to start to make the ring small. He's a lefty, so he needs to start walking to the right, make it small, and uh, get this thing done. Maimon needs to keep moving and circling. He needs to stop circling that way and switch directions a little bit. Derek Maimon comes from a good camp, Cedar Rapids, Iowa, an American top team. Would you tell him, let's, why not get this thing to the ground? You haven't had much success striking. Let's get to the ground and see what blagoy has got. Absolutely. I mean, my, my, my whole thing in fighting is to always mix it up. Yeah. And I definitely think that he should start to mix this up now because it's not looking too good for him right now on the feet. Maimon's got a cut above yeah. his left eye that's starting to get into his eye and affect his vision. Yeah. He's trying to wipe it away. And that's something the referee will continue to look at. Brian Miner in control this fight inside the cage if that becomes an impairment vision becomes a factor he can't stop the fight with doctors oh. ready to come in and that big left that it. just that cracked it, it. Miner's gonna stop yes. this that is it great stoppage absolutely devastated and David Branch I think that he was listening to you he led that off with a jab as you've been saying he used to do all night but boy did he ever come down with a good straight left hand as man was backing up Yes, sir. Ivanov just followed him up and got the finish. Outstanding job, an outstanding job by our referee stepping in just at the right time. The Bulgarian sledgehammer finds the face of Derek Maimon, and I don't know if it was the socket or the nose, but he cracked him hard. Maimon knew it right off the bat. He dropped to his knees, and Ivanov didn't have to come in for the final pounce. Good move by Brian Miner to get in there. There was no way Maimon was coming back from that. Back inside the Grand Theater, the conclusion of a heavyweight bout between Blagoy Ivanov, the champion, and Derek Maimon. It's Ivanov who gets the win for the official decision. Here is Jazz Securo. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Brian Miner has stepped in and stopped the fight at 4 minutes 33 seconds of round number two. Officially a technical knockout due to strikes. Your winner and still the World Series of Fighting heavyweight champion of the world, Blagoy Baga. It was scheduled for five. They only needed two. Ivanov is still the champion in the World Series of Fighting in the heavyweight division.